You mentioned Mexico. You're from Mexico. What part of Mexico are you from? I'm from Mexico City. You're from Mexico City. Yeah. And uh, I was curious because... Yeah. Obviously, Mexico and Mexican people were brought up a lot during our election, and now uh, Donald Trump has been elected. I'm curious, how is, does this, has this uh, election affected you personally? Well, I'm just more and more proud of, of being Mexican, you know? It's, uh, uh, and, and as hate is raising, we, we just have to be louder, you know? It's the, the contribution of, of the, the Mexican community here and the Mexican-American community here is huge, you know? There's like, the cultural uh, influence of, of Mexico here is, is amazing and, and it, it has made this country very rich. This diversity <laughs> makes this country very rich. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Where we are right now, yeah. yeah. I'm glad you say it. Yeah, yeah. No. I'm glad you say it. No, yeah. Andy, Andy, Andy brought up a really good point. We're living in a city that used to be Mexico exactly. at one point. And, uh, and you're right. This is uh, what you're saying is that there's, there's so much. Well, this. I mean, it's sad times, but at the same time, I think it's good because it's asking for a reaction, you know? It's asking for, for that other, you know, other side of this country that is very proud to, to, to and, and, and that is ready to celebrate these differences and to, to talk about diversity as the most positive thing of this time, you know? This film does that on a way. It's the most diverse cast you've ever seen on a Star Wars film and, and, and that's a good step. It's a modern approach uh, to Star Wars and, and it's important that we celebrate that diversity, you know? Yeah, well. <laughs>